Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we will learn about the cross validation techniques. So, okay, so before starting, suppose like uh, we have a data set, like in a machine learning uh, project, what we need to do first, we need to have a cleaned up data set. Uh, after that, we uh, like do our feature engineering and we uh, like take care of the columns that does not contain a missing value. And after that, uh, all the like features uh, scaling and the rest of the thing and then we move to the uh, the terms where we will cross validate our data basically we divide our data into train and test and that will be cross will be called cross validation so there will be several kind of cross validation technique and before that what i'll show you suppose we have a data set and we divide into uh, train size 90 percentage and test side is 10 percentage and we have some random state and and we are using some k uh, whether we are using knn or random forest decision trees or any other and we end up getting the accuracy 89 percent when we again uh, resize the train and test with 85 and 15 percentage accuracy will again change in the next process again if we change from uh, like the train and test size 80 and 20 accuracy again changes accuracy is not getting fixed we are not getting a fixed accuracy somewhere which lies within a range of uh, plus or minus 5 like 88 89 85 here it is changing the minimum accuracy is 59 and the maximum accuracy is 92 so if you take this model to your stakeholders or your like client they will not be satisfied then in this case you need to do something else okay and that's where the cross validation will come into picture and before this i just want to show you how this train and, and when we say the random state apart from random state is equal to none when we say something how the, the train and test will be populated i have also note i have already created my random state uh, video on youtube so you can please refer that so let's uh, see how this works suppose this is my data set okay so this is my data set and I have given random set is equal to zero. When we split it into uh, like 70 to 30, when we split it into 70 to 30, then we have seven records will be populated in train and three records will be populated in test data set. This is not my index, this is my data set itself. Now, after this, when we change the to random set 111, okay, and the split ratio is 80 to 20, then what happened? Then also my data set will be populated in a different order. So every time when we change the random set, the data set, the data will be populated and the different in a different order. And this is very much important because if you are training your suppose if you are keeping your data set sequentially, okay, you are doing a train from zero to from zero to eight. Be sequentially, you are training it your data set based on the first eight records, okay. And when you are testing it based on the last two record, if the last two record does not have the data similar to whatever which is present here your model will fail so that's why we have to we have to think about generalizing your model even if it is not trained on a particular thing it will it should not show a very horrible result it should go uh, okay generalized kind of result that's where in linear regression root mean square will come into picture the matrix will play a big role so let's start now now what is cross validation cross validation is a statistical method used to estimate the performance or accuracy of the machine learning model and in a typical machine learning task we have to properly identify the problem that we pick the most suitable algorithm which give us the best score so how do we achieve this getting the big score is a big, big task okay so how do we get this best possible score so in order to achieve the above we have to train the model with the available data set and then we need to find how will our model perform and the data set that we have trained that is the error this is not a good practice to uh, check your model how it is performing on our trained data set. it should be checked how it is performing on our test data set Test data set is something when we divide our data set into train and test, we will not train it on the test data. One hour, once our training is done on the train data set, then only we will use the test data set to check the performance or the accuracy of my model. Now, what are the types of cross validation? There are two types exhaustive and non exhaustive techniques of cross validation. Exhaustive cross validation method are which learn and test on all the positive way to divide the original sample into a training and a validation data set okay and non exhaustive methods do not compute all the way uh, of splitting the original sample those methods are approximation of leaf p out but before learning leaf p out let's let's learn what is leaf one out and uh, 
the example of the exhaustive technique are, is leave one out cross validation leave p out cross validation and the example of non exhaustive are hold out k fold stratified k leave one out cross validation method suppose we have a data set with 1000 rows okay 1000 data points now leave one out will do sequentially it will take the first row will become my train uh, test data set and the remaining will become my train data set similarly in the next iteration my second record will be my test data set and the rest everything will be my train data set and it goes on if you have 1000 records okay we understand uh, if you have 1000 if you will iterate it 1000 times then you end up getting your result the train test you you predict the values and you get your metrics everything but what about if you have 1 million 10 million 50 million 100 million uh, records in your data set in that case uh, it this will not be a good uh, method to use uh, in your machine learning model but in order to learn cross validation this is the building block of learning cross validation so when should we use leave one out cross validation before this i'll show you how leave one out cross validation will work see this is my original data set and my data set has two columns column a column b and these is my this is my index of each column so when we run in the first iteration Okay, and I'm just showing here with an example of 10 records. I don't want to create it messy with 1000 or 100 or 1000. So in this case, when we have 10 records in the very first iteration, this zero will be my test data set and the rest from one to nine will be my train data set. In the next iteration, in the iteration number two, this one will be my test data set, right? One is my test data set and two, three, four till nine will be my train data set. Similarly, in the third iteration, this 2 minus 7 and minus 7.57 will be my test data set. The rest everything will be my train data set. Okay. Again, for the fourth iteration, same thing will happen. The record number 4 with the index 3 will be my test data set and the rest everything will be my train data set. And this will go on until you reach your last record. So in my last record, this will be my test data set and the remaining everything will be my train data set. When should we use the leave one out cross validation? See, when the amount of training is limited, you have 200, uh, 2000, 3000, 550,000 records, still you can use uh, uh, leave one out cross validation. Now, but when we have, like, and the second place when we can use it when we want the absolute best estimate for the new data set, okay? Means for my test data set, when I want to be, when I want the absolute best estimate. Now, why should we cautious while using leave one out? If we have a huge data set, then we should think multiple times before using and also when our computational resources limited. Okay, In present day scenario, nobody will work on your personal computer for implementing a machine learning model in production. So everyone will either use uh, Amazon, AWS, Microsoft, Azure or IBM Bluemix or any other cloud, basically the cloud platform. So there, the more you, uh, the, the bigger is your uh, data set it will utilize more uh, resources and that's where your uh, bill will rise okay also when we have to test a lot of para parameters to test in that case also we should be cautious you take an example of decision trees or random forest there will be so many parameters like the depth size the uh, the number of trees the number of jobs number of iterators so many things so in that case you have to think multiple times before using leave one out cross validation but as i say this will help you to understand the techniques of cross validation also the downside of enumerating the force manually is that it is slow and it involves a lot of code that may introduce bugs yes okay so let's start uh, start with our code and, and how to implement leave one out cross validation in this session i will show you these two terms these two techniques implement leave one out cross validation normally and using the cross val score i don't want to make this uh, video very big so this i will be explaining in the next video but next video uh, in some uh, like in the continuation of video it will be there okay my next video will be related to hold one out cross validation so what i am doing here i am creating a data set with uh, number of records and and it, it will have two columns where the random state is one and before that i am uh, importing make blobs leave one out from model selection and random forest classifier this is everything so i'll come simply give shift enter so this cell will be executed this will take some time after this we will create an object of leave one out cross validator and we'll again also execute this we will before running into the process we'll see what is my x and what is my y so my x is this and my 
why is this okay now what i will do i will just simply uh, iterate through the cross cv uh, like uh, folds okay how so let's execute this and then we'll understand so as per what i said the zeroth row this is the zeroth index okay or the zeroth row will be my test and then from 1 to 9 will be my train similarly 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the 1 will be my uh, test data set and it will go till the last record where uh, the last record on the ninth uh, or the ninth index record uh, will be my train and the rest everything be my uh, will be my test data set and that's everything these all will be my train data set now also i want to show you here now we are not using the cross file score we will be simply using the list to populate our train and test so what i have done i have created uh, y2 and y pred as my uh, empty list and then i am iterating ij in cv split what i am doing is uh, if you take x x of y will be how much it will give you the first column okay x of y column okay this will go on and then you will uh, we will print the x train and s test let execute we will execute this okay so what happens see in the very first index in the the very first time okay this minus 8 the very first row or the zeroth index will become my test and the rest everything is train in the next time this minus 8 is my second row or the uh, row with the first index will become my test and the rest everything is train and so on it is divided okay now after this what we have done once we are done with our train and test what we are creating we are creating a model okay random classifier this is a typical case of classification we are uh, we are and we have to predict three uh, our output will have three classes 0 1 and 2 that's what i have shown you here 0 1 and 2 is a uh, like we will predict and then we are fitting our model and followed by the predicting once we predict that what we are doing we are appending everything into my y true what is my actual value i am predict uh, appending everything followed by y print we are doing this because to actually check my accuracy so once we execute this our accuracy will be there and then uh, i will run this so we the, our model is 90 percent accurate okay it's a simple model so that is fine the same thing we have like uh, we have the data set here okay we have created a leave one out um, uh, object for a leave one out and then we have iterated this we have not used any um, any cross validation uh, any uh, scikit learn technique to get this uh, train and test explicitly and we our work will be very easy so what we have done here is we have uh, defined everything and we have predicted the accuracy instead of that doing all those things what we can do is we can implement leave one out cross validation using the cross val score okay so cross val score what it will do it will give you based on your number of points in our cross validation if you see i have 10 points right 10 data sets so it will find my accuracy 10 times and then what it will do cross val score will get you the mean score of all these so what we'll do from sklearn.model score execute this and then we will create a random forest classifier and then we will execute this score okay? before getting the mean how many values will be there in my score 10 times right 0 1 2 3 because there are 10 cross validations here there are 10 cross validation first second third fourth fifth six seven eight nine and then if you give the mean of this you get the accuracy okay of all this so cross file score will play a big role in uh, like when we use holdout data set or it's basically in the k folder cross validation uh, concepts okay so that will be very helpful and before the before winding up this session i want to show you one more thing what are the disadvantage of leave one out cross validations is like basically the iteration which matters if the iterations are huge low bias plays a big role and moreover this is outdated and it is not used nowadays thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and uh, also there is a applause button you can applaud me if you feel this video is helpful that will help me to create more videos and uh, my next video will be related to the holdout data set will be related to holdout data set so i will see you in my next video thank you